Welcome to Lost Culture, your one-stop destination for everything pop culture. My name is Aston, and today we're going to do a re reaction and a review for the Beauty and the Beast new trailer. Let's just jump right into it. Alright, I love it. I like the new Disney theme. I love how you're doing it over Castle. It's really reminiscent to the new Marvel opening. You must leave here. This castle is alive. Who's there? Do you wish to take your father's place? Come into the light. Show me the girl. Look at her. What if she is the one? <gasps> the one who'll break the spell. Hello. You can talk. Well, of course he can talk. Hello, I love nice you. to meet you. The master's not as terrible as he appears. I say we kill the beast! Think of the one thing you've always wanted. Now find it in your mind's eye and feel it in your heart. There we have it. There goes the trailer. I love this trailer. I'm already a big Emma Watson fan. I'm a big Disney fan. I have a whole tattoo of Disney on my arm. This is a <laughs> this is amazing. Like I don't know why I'm so excited. Like just seeing this stuff, maybe because like this is all from my childhood. But seeing the special effects, like a lot of people had an issue with Beast last week when we seen him, or two weeks ago when we seen him. But no, he's not perfect. But he does look a lot better in these um, in motion than he does in those pictures. And we gotta remember, they're still working on Beast. Beast is not complete yet. They're still gonna do some more CGI to him. They're still gonna get some things in order to get everything ready for like, March. Now, the world looks real CGI-ish, but I can, I'm pretty sure they'll clean that up too because when we went to see Cinderella, um, maybe they had a lot more um, yeah, Cinderella obviously had a lot more real locations, but I feel like they'll get that cleaned up with this. But this trailer is amazing. Emma Watson, obviously she's just basically playing um another Hermione. I thought the first thing I really like, maybe it's her Hermione is just so big. That's the only thing I see. But I felt like just Hermione, and I was okay with it. I love the way we got to see uh the music, uh, tell us all this time. That, it was so subtle in the background, but it just did so much for this trailer. This trailer is beautiful. I love the way they did Chip. I wasn't too, um, the, um, the teacup, I, I wish it had more of a, um, definition, but I like the way it went, like, it's, it'll grow on me. I think once the movie get on, I see it actually in the movie. Like I said, the CGI, they still have a, not a ways to go, but they still have a lot of time to get everything cleaned up for the movie release. And when we seen the teacup, with her, the way her face was just on the plate, I wish it had more um, they definition, they more defined, more, like, it was more poking out, more, I'm just forget the word I'm looking at, like, yes, defined, just, but just raised a little bit more. So. I wish I had more of that, but besides that, I think this trailer is amazing. It's a great trailer. We seen Gustav. All these characters are right out of the movies. Like these are all of them. Maybe Beast is. I think a little Liberty with Beast. They um, but for I don't think we seen Cogsworth. Did we see Cogsworth? It's like it's definitely a great movie. We didn't get to see any singing or anything. We know there's going to be singing in the movie, but 
from what I've seen, the visuals in this trailer, this trailer is beautiful. Like, I can't wait for this. I can't wait for March. This trailer hasn't done anything but get me more excited. They don't even have to release, like, storyboard trailers. They don't need to. It's Beauty and the Beast. We know what we're getting into. They can just do keep doing little teasers like this until March, and everything will be fine. We see how they did with Cinderella. They released the shoe first. They did the same thing with Beauty and the Beast. They released um, the rose. Even the rose looked great. I, there was not too much to complain about in this trailer. I love Beast's action design. See, I love how he went from the rugged cloak to his indoor cloaks and everything. I wonder if they would have the... Um, my biggest question is, will they have the Aladdin reference? In the library, they actually reference Aladdin in the original movie. If you go back to it, they do reference Aladdin. They're talking about a prince. But... Besides that, this looks very beautiful. I can't wait for this movie. I'm extremely excited, and I really can't wait. Now, like I said, my only downs of it, you can tell when they're this, this, this very CGI heavy, and you can tell in some parts, but besides that, I think this is beautiful, and I can't really, really can't wait to get to see it on the big screen. Now, besides that, that's really all I have. Thank you guys for tuning in, as always. All our social medias will be down in the description. A link to the actual Beauty and the Beast trailer will be down in our description. And as always, stay lost.